This easy-looking problem is actually going to confuse many people. Let me read you the question. There are ten people in a room. Each person shakes hands with every other person exactly once. The question is, how many handshakes happen in total? Now, take a moment to think about this. At first glance, it might seem very simple, right? You might think, if there are ten people, there must be ten handshakes. But hold on, is that really the case? This is a classical problem in combinations, which is a branch of mathematics that deals with counting and arranging things. Let's break it down step by step using very simple logic. By the end, you will see that this problem is much more interesting than it appears, and you will feel amazing for solving it. Imagine the room. You have ten people standing there, and each person is going to shake hands with every other person. To keep things simple, let's give the people names. Person 1, Person 2, Person 3, and so on. Up to Person 10. Let's start with Person 1. Person 1 goes around and shakes hands with everyone else. That means they shake hands with Person 2, Person 3, Person 4, and so on all the way to person 10. So, how many handshakes did person 1 just make? Well, there are nine other people in the room, so person 1 will make nine handshakes, right? Now it's person 2's turn. But wait, person 2 has already shaken hands with person 1. Person 2 will not shake hands with person 1 again, because each handshake only happens once. So person 2 shakes hands with the remaining 8 people, person 3, person 4, and so on, up to person 10. That's 8 handshakes for person 2. Then we move to person 3. Person 3 has already shaken hands with person 1 and person 2, so they only shake hands with the remaining 7 people, person 4, person 5, and so on, up to person 10. That's seven handshakes for person three, isn't it? Do you see the pattern? Here's how the numbers look so far. Person one shakes hands with nine people. Person two shakes hands with eight people. Person three shakes hands with seven people. Person four shakes hands with six people. And so on, until person nine shakes hands with just one person which is person 10. Person 10 doesn't shake hands with anyone new because he has already shaken hands with everyone else. Now we add up all these handshakes, 9 plus 8 plus 7, and so on till 1, which is equal to 45. So there are 45 handshakes in total. Amazing! Now here comes the magic. As I have already told you before, this problem is actually a classic example of a combination. A combination is a way of selecting items from a group, where the order doesn't matter. In this case, we are selecting pairs of people to shake hands with, and it doesn't matter if we say person 1 shakes hands with person 2 or person 2 shakes hands with person 1. It's the same handshake. In math, combinations are often written as N choose K which tells us how many ways we can choose K items from a group of N items. For example, suppose you have a group of N people and want to form a team of K people. The order in which you pick the team members doesn't matter. What matters is the group itself. The general formula for combinations is N, factorial divided by the product of K, factorial and N, minus K, factorial. When you see the term factorial, it simply means multiplying a number by every positive number smaller than it. For example, 4 factorial, written as 4 with an exclamation mark, means 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. So, 4 factorial equals 24. Similarly, 5 factorial equals 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1, which is 120. Now here's the thing, we can also write 5 factorial as 5 times 4 factorial, right? So, keep this in mind. Now, 
For our problem, we want to calculate how many ways we can form pairs of people. In simple terms, we are figuring out how many different groups of two people we can make from the total of 10 people in the room. That means n is 10, the total number of people, and k is 2, since each handshake involves two people. Let's use the formula. Here, n is 10, so we calculate 10 factorial, which is this. But don't worry, we won't need to multiply all of this because it cancels out later. Now we will find k factorial, which will be 2 factorial. Then we will find n minus k factorial. Here, n minus k is 10 minus 2, which equals 8, so we get 8 factorial. Next, let us plug everything into the combination formula. 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 8 factorial. Now, we will simplify it. 10 factorial can also be written as 10 times 9 times this, and this is equal to 8 factorial. Notice that the 8 factorial in the numerator and denominator cancels out, so we're left with 10 times 9 divided by 2 factorial. 10 times 9 is 90. 2 factorial is 2, so we divide 90 by 2, which equals 45. So using the general formula for combinations, we find that there are 45 unique handshakes. This matches our earlier result and shows how powerful this method is for counting pairs quickly and accurately. Now, here's a fun challenge for you. What if there were 20 people in the room instead of 10? How many handshakes would there be? Try using the pairing trick or the formula to figure it out. Once you solve it, let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good.